hello and welcome to Japanese craft beer reviews. Uh, we are in the middle of a series of beers which are not Japanese and not craft, uh, but they are called Asian export lagers, and these are light lagers from uh, different countries in Asia, including Thailand, uh, Singapore, Indonesia, and China, uh, that uh, export lagers to many countries around the world. And this is the second one. It's called Leo, or maybe Leo, I'm not sure. And it's bottled or made by the Singha Corporation, which Singha beer is made by Boon Raud, so I assume it's the same brewery. It's not really quite clear here. Um, and this is a pale lager, international premium, 5%. And it, uh, it has a whole lot of ingredients uh, on the back here. I uh, am reading malt and uh, rice and uh, and uh, some type of sugar, saccharide, I'm not sure exactly what it is, hops, calcium chloride, lactic acid, uh, vitamin C, and, and I can't remember what the last one is, but it's uh, uh, all kinds of stuff going on in this beer. Um, and it's a five percenter, as we said here, and it uh, the malt content is uh, forty nine percent, so it's less than half. Uh, 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 it's, so it's not an all malt beer, clearly, with all these things in it. Um, and so, according to what I read, it is the market leader in Thailand. It is the most popular beer in Thailand, and a uh, Chang beer is number two. Um, and it has a nice jaguar on the front, but it's kind of kind of odd because Leo, of course, refers to a lion, uh, not to a jaguar. But in any case, here's the jaguar for you. And and shall we give this one a go? I haven't had this for for many years. Um, it has some metals on the front too, from Muhan, and it says, it says, gold medal award for world class quality. And that is something, isn't it? Okay, let's give this one a go. Apparently, it used to be made at 5.5%, and now it's made at 5. So, this is a market leader, they said in Thailand, but it's one of the uh, few, uh, it's not quite as available as some of the other beers from Thailand. Like, like Singha and Chang. Okay, it is completely clear. Completely clear, very light, medium gold with a half a finger, kind of fluffy, almost creamy white head. Sticky lace. Let's try the aroma. <clears throat> okay. It has a kind of Zatz hops, I think, which we experienced in the Z Singha beer, something like that, but it smells rather more chemical-like, kind of thin, a little bit sweaty, weeds, maybe some cardboard in this for sure. Mm. Okay. It's just got a lot of grain, uh, sugar, Maybe some citrus. Mm. Just a touch. I'm gonna have to cut this review short. I don't think I can drink much more of this at all. Um, kind of harsh, fizzy, sort of sweet finish. Yeah, this is not, not a pleasant beer at all. Cardboard. Uh, yeah, aroma and flavor. Neither of them are. Neither of them have anything to recommend at all. Um, so once again, this is called uh, Leo or Leo from uh, Singha Brewery in uh, Thailand. Uh, give it a go, or on my recommendation, don't. Okay. All right. That's uh, that's it for our second beer, Asian export beer, and we'll look at uh, more coming up next. I hope you come along with me. Um, it's going to be a hard journey, believe me, to uh, get through these. But I uh, hope you're doing well. Please do subscribe to the channel, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.